out the cinema, out the cinema, out the cinema reviews. What is up, guys? Welcome to After Cinema Reviews. Today we are joined by a very, very special guest. It's Maddie. Say hello. Hi, I'm Maddie. I was waiting for the hi, I'm Maddie. Hi. So we just saw a very cool film. It was Elemental, the new Disney Pixar movie. I am one of your hosts, Ben. Take it away, Maddie. Tell me what you thought. It was good. <sighs> I feel like we should see more tree people. The tree people that were was, very that cool. That was a big thing that I, I'm, 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 I missed from it. I know. There was only a, a few a few scenes where there were tree people. Right? The tree people were the coolest ones. What? They grew um, flowers out of their armpits. Armpit flowers. Every man's dream. Armpit flowers. <laughs> But no, it was it was very cool, very sweet. I really enjoyed it compared to the, like, Soul was the last Disney Pixar film that really, like, tickled my pickle a lot. I liked Turning Red. Turning Red was very good. I didn't... And Luca. To be fair, I did like Luca. Yeah, Disney Pixar films, bar Luzier. Luzier? Bar Luzier? Lightyear. Lightyear. We've not seen Lightyear, but we've seen pretty much every other one. Um, well, at least I have. Um, and Disney Pixar always does very, very good things. When it comes to movies, I always feel really elated and happy and feel like I've learned something. It normally has a happy ending. Yeah. Like, this one looked like it was not going to have a happy ending. And just, you know, spoilers for how it goes, you know. A little bit touch and go there. Yeah, it was a little bit touch and go. We thought the our main, main character, Wade, was going to hit the bucket. Quite literally, randomly, but... Um, no, Wade was probably one of my favourite characters across Disney Pixar, to be fair. He was just... He was nice. Yeah, he was just he was nice. A nice guy. Yeah, there was nothing friendly. nothing, nothing horrible about him at all. He was just loving, caring, and really just wanted the best for Ember. Yeah. And I'm fairly sure that this was a love letter to the writer's parents, which made the film a lot sweeter and things. I didn't realise that. Um, and it felt very... I, I don't know if the writer actually is just Asian, but it felt very much like from different worlds and, you know, different classes as well yeah. as the fire nation, so to speak. They are shunned in the elemental city and things. and Because they can set everything on fire. Yeah, they can just set everything on fire, you know, pretty typical <laughs> stuff and whatnot. And, you know, we got to see as the film progressed, Wade and Ember fall in love and it was really sweet and cute just to watch kind of like Ember come out of her shell a bit and whatnot whilst I disappear and get more comfortable in the tight space. Maddie takes up a lot of room. Needs all that stardom, you know. Why not? But yeah, it was it was very good. I had a lot of fun and it was very sweet and I didn't expect to see the Disney Pixar short, which we will also do another video on, called Carl's Date, and that nearly made me cry more than this film. Like, this film was sad. I cried. A lot. You cried a fair few times, yeah? <laughs> um, other people in the cinema did cry, and it was nice that the cinema didn't... Like, it wasn't too packed or anything, but thankfully I didn't hear many people. Um, I had someone else crying. Yeah, someone else was crying, which was nice to hear, but who was your favourite character? I liked, I've forgotten her name, but Wade's boss. The, uh, Gail. Gail, the, the air, the air. The cloud the lady. lady. Yeah, she, she was, was pretty cool. cool. It was nice that she got to like. She helped Ember in the end. Find some love in the end. Oh, with yeah, the, yeah. The tree sort her out of man. The, like the office guy. Yeah, it that was had, nice. like stuff on his nose. Yeah, he had a big old nose. Bless him. Um, I think mine was definitely Wade. Um, it was just nice. The whole family was nice. I just like to see like how the same with like Zootopia. I just like seeing all these worlds they create in the I Disney like, Pixar universe. I like the elements, especially the element aspects to it. I think that's really fucking cool. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed the elements in a film called Elemental Mud. That's good. Thanks. But no, it's a bit like I can only assume that the water people were like the upper class then. And yeah, kind of. 100%. Yeah. Um, because you didn't you didn't really see like too much of like the world itself outside of just like our main characters. No, she did make a um, a reference to him being a rich kid though. Mm. So. Well, I just thought his family was rich rather than just the water people be rich in general. I think it is that kind of class system, isn't it? So the, the fire people are just kind of pushed aside and shunned, mm. whereas the water are kind of seen as 
I very nearly did cry at the end because essentially Ember's dad did this bow to his dad when they left and to try start a new life for themselves. Super respectful bow. Yeah, the extra top tier uber respectful bow that's name we can't remember. Um, but Ember did that when she went to go find herself with her glass making career abroad with Wade. Um, and it was just, oh, I nearly went. I do, I, whenever I get very teary, I'll either just start fucking crying or I'll like laugh. I can't not do one of them. I'll just laugh. And I need to start laughing loads at the end of that film. I was just a half mess, but no, like, I think one of the things that bothered me that you pointed out was the, the little, um, blue flames. Yeah. It served no purpose at the end of the film, and I feel like the importance that was put on it, I feel like it should have served some type of purpose. Mm, I'm not sure if it was like some type of almost, quote, religious thing or like mm. tribal thing or something that was just bearing reference. I know Ultra that when a, you know, when you turn like the Bunsen burner, it goes blue, and that's like the true hot flame. So I don't know if that's their kind of, you know, life force or something, but Maybe. nothing really too much did happen. I personally thought at the end when she was trapped in that sort of like, cooking hot container thing i thought he was just going to go like around there as a weird bubble and protect her that way Mm. rather than just evaporate (laughs) but it was only when he started like laughing but tearing and kind of rejoining i was like yeah he's just he's just evaporated like it just does become like water droplets he is still just like there i didn't didn't think about it there do you no i was just like fuck he's dead i can't believe they've done this to this film can't believe they've killed him off no but the entire entire family is really cool. I did want to see more of Ember's like glass making because you only got to kind of see it like Sorry, twice mate. properly, yeah. like making rather than just trying to like stop something. Um, they definitely could have done more Gale and her team rather than just being like, yeah, we're gonna leave some tempered glass to fix up this thing. But yeah, you know, yeah, I think kind of yeah, some of the details were a little bit. Hmm. It could have been explored a bit more because it kind of just had this elemental city and then there was just a place where it was just fire people and whatnot. And her feet. She had no feet. Well, she put some boots on at Got one me. point. I know, but her feet, they were just sticks. There was no there was no feet on the end. I did like how all the fire people did look, though, to rep- mm. where they were replicating, like, the just the flame. Different I thought, type of flame. Yeah, I thought that all looked really cool. And then especially it when Ember cool. went across the minerals and things, she, like, changed colour. That was and pretty. visually, the film looked amazing as it's usual. Like I normally do. Yeah. yeah, they're always very good. Like even like, like turning red and Luca, they are like fine for me, but fine for Disney Pixar is just still really good. Yeah. Soul was a semi anomaly. Like that was just really really good, and Onward again was fine, but nothing special. I wasn't a massive fan of Soul. I don't think we can be friends anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Mad. Have to sleep on the couch tonight. Thanks. <laughs> You're banished. Can't enter the room if you don't like soul. You got no soul, Maddie. Are Deal you breaker. are you ginger? No. Do you not understand that gingers don't have souls? Yeah. But I'm not ginger, so do Are you sure there are some roots underneath there that are ginger at all? Dark. They're Leave dark. a comment if you think Maddie's a ginger. I'm not ginger. It's dark. It's dark, I don't believe so. These are blonde highlights. They're not even real. It's not even real hair colour. How do I know that that brown... This is because it's grown out so much. Yeah, but you might have just dyed your roots. I don't have time to do that. I don't have time, okay. But no. A very good entry into the new Disney Pixar, and I am looking forward to any upcoming films. What does it say over there, Maddie? Follow me for upcoming. Elio. Oh, yeah? And Inside Out 2. Oh, shit. What the heck is Elio? I don't know. I can even reach that. And uh, I do enjoy the to be announced. Oh, and fifth Toy Story film is in development. Elio. What does it look like, man? What does Elio look like? Mm-hmm. It's a science fiction comedy adventure film Thanks. produced by Walt Disney Thanks. and Pixar. Follows an 11 year old boy named Elio who accidentally becomes. An intergalactic ambassador of planet Earth. After cool, I'm already hooked. Being I'm happy. Up to the universe by aliens for making contact i'm happy but cool. I... meanwhile his his mum runs a top secret military project film to tackle That's following that. wally and lightyear oh is that just it's, a... It's, oh, it's, it's a science it's, fiction yeah, i don't say well third animated film to tackle the science fiction genre let's hope they can do a or the, i haven't seen wally but i know that wally is well respected and loved and a very highly rated film anyway not seen lightyear i thought it was fine yeah, but we've already understood that you didn't like Souls, or you already just 
are not very good with this whole Disney Pixar okay. debacle. Okay. You don't like Toy Story, so that's just. No, I don't. That's true. But no, that'll mean good things for Elio. Then I'm excited for that. March first, twenty twenty four. That's just too far away. Yeah. Too far away. Yeah. But no, I like the world of it. I I do wish that Disney Pixar would do kind of more mini TV series. Like even if it was just a series just to explore some. It doesn't even have to be the main two characters in it. Like I think they do it well. Hmm, I would, you know, I'd kill for and like it'd a. It'd be so enjoyable to watch for everyone. Yeah, like a Zootopia thing where it doesn't that even focus on the main characters. It's just yeah. like. There's so many characters in that for them to explore as well. Yeah, like, you know, we don't need a Cars TV series on Lightning and Mater like we got. We could just have it on like anyone, and I think that would be really good for them to like explore. Like, I really want to see more characters in here because we were very confined to pretty much just Ember's family. Wade's family and then like a couple other characters. Like, yeah, she didn't even have any friends or anything. Kind of no. like, you know, you see in those films where yeah, the there was, protagonist has There really wasn't too many for cast wise. Like we got to see some cool like um it was like basketball mixed with Quidditch, which was pretty cool in which The air people. Yeah, it was he the, sucked the ball in and blew it into the basket. He sucked all the other clouds in as well. Yeah. But that was pretty cool. That was cool. Um, but yeah, like it was only like an hour forty. I was never bored either. It was didn't feel long. No, like, it it's long. just cinema seats are always, you know, if you go to the Odeon and you don't pay for the premium seats, they are just uncomfortable in general. But no, my, I had a lot of fun. And Mad, did you enjoy it? Big thumbs up. Big me. thumbs up. Big thumbs up, Maddie Rating. So thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment down below, leave a like, and just all the other keywords that YouTubers are meant to say. Thank you very much for watching. You take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, thank you for watching the video. Click the button to keep watching or click the other video for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.